Well, it's another Wellness Wednesday. Betsy joining us a couple of times actually today. We're starting off with some breath work, mindfulness. What are we doing, Betsy? Mindfulness. Yes. Also food. Ooh, mindfulness. Food. Okay. We're just kind of covering the gamut today. Okay. Okay. Um, so yesterday was my birthday. What? Happy I know. Birthday. Happy twenty right? fifth. Right. Yes. Um, so. Every year around my birthday, not necessarily on my birthday, but around my birthday, I try to kind of take stock. I'm one of those just obnoxious people that kind of tries to take stock. Over the last year, what I focused on for myself and what I wish that I could have helped other people focus on more. And one of the big okay. ones, and it's kind of a trendy thing right now too, is mindfulness. What most people think of with mindfulness is slowing down, mm -hmm. breathing, grounding, journaling, those type of things. But mindfulness is actually so much bigger than that. So yes, we are gonna do just a little bit of breath work. We'll do that right away first. So okay. when you think about any time your body kind of gets a little bit overloaded and you feel that kind of antsy stuff every coming day. up yes. every day, mm -hmm. right? We mm -hmm. live in a society where we are super active all the time. There's always somebody needing something. So one of the best things that you can do is just take a moment. If you can take your shoes off, great. If you can stand outside on the actual ground, great. But you don't have to go that far. You can just take a second to let your arms relax. Okay. Just let everything kind of relax. Let your whole body come down. Let your chin even kind of fall just a little bit. Take a really slow breath in for about four counts. One, two, three, four. Hold it for three or four. One, two, three, four. And then back out for four. One, two, three, four. And then hold at the bottom for one, two, three, four. Four. And if you feel, your heart rate will already slow down. Yeah. Another thing that you can do that a lot of people won't notice is close a nostril mm -hmm. and breathe in through one nostril. So, and I always get this wrong when I say it, but I think if you breathe through your right nostril, it's going to give you energy. And if you breathe through your less left nostril, it's going to calm you down. So it's also a great way to kind of go back and forth and let your body balance itself out. Okay. Throughout the day, you'll notice that one nostril will be a little clogged and the other one won't. You won't know My why. One is right? Clogged. Yeah. That's because your body's trying to calm you down. Our bodies are crazy things, yeah, right? I'm so, always trying to calm down. Going beyond yeah, those things of mindfulness energy. that a lot of people know about, mindful eating is a huge thing. Okay? What is mindful eating? Mindful yeah. eating is taking the judgment away from food, allowing yourself to eat, enjoy, slow down. What's the point of avoiding the cookie if you're going to eat the entire pantry yeah. trying to avoid the cookie? Right. Slow down, eat the cookie, and enjoy it. One of the best ways to break into mindful eating is to take some things that are harder and slower to eat okay. and focusing on eating them slowly. So cherries are great, walnuts are great, edamame is great because a cherry has a pit in it, you have to slow down. A walnut or a nut is a little harder, you have to mm -hmm. chew it longer. An edamame in the pod, you actually have to take the time to separate it. So we're gonna start, you can grab yeah. anything you want, but let's go. those are my favorites. This, so Whatever. grab a cherry, yes. grab a cherry. a cherry. I want you to take a second, whatever you this. wanna get. I want you to take Ooh, a greens. second. Mm-hmm. See it? Okay. Smell it. I'm already eating it. Uh-huh. Hey, that's not mindful. That's not mindful. You're not Smell being mindful. it. And then you actually let your mouth taste it for a second before you bite into it. Okay. And then when you bite into it, notice what it tastes like, how it feels, chew on it a little bit before you actually swallow it. Slow yourself down. That's so, so you're hard to do sometimes. It what are the is. tips, Betsy? What, yeah. How do we make ourselves stop wanting to just sit, pound the chips? Sit down to eat. First, make a plate. Don't eat out of the bag. Oh. Make a plate I or a bowl. The bag all the time. So I'm just standing in the pantry with my hand in a bag of chips trying to decide yes. what, what I want I to eat. You can't do that. Take your bowl in with you okay. so that you pour your chips in the bowl and then you know how much you're eating. And when you get to the bottom of the bowl, there's something about the bottom of the container. You feel satisfied. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So make a plate. Sit down, but not in front of the TV, not in front of your phone, not in front of your computer. You're challenging us I on a Wednesday. So I feel so seen. I'm right. I feel like okay, I'm so going to Pay attention to it. Eat it. You can talk to somebody while you're eating, but don't. Not on your phone. Okay. And eat with bites. Slowly set your fork down so that your body has a chance to even realize that you've eaten something. And I love you'll be this. full before you know it. I love this challenge that you yeah. put out there it for us. It is. It's a challenge. And it is a challenge for me. Mm -hmm. I do have a hard time doing this. Yeah. But taking the time to really pay attention and try to do it. Great. Betsy, thank you. Again, of stick course. around. Thank you can you. see some things right there you can do to improve your mindfulness.